Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation. O my soul, praise him, for he is your health and salvation. Come all who hear, now to his altar draw near, joining in glad adoration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. So I would like to welcome everyone who's joining us um, uh, from uh, uh, watching from, from the internet, uh, the Daily Mass here at St. Mary's uh, Parish here in Ottawa, Canada. And today we celebrate the memorial of St. Philip Neri. Okay? Uh, he's, he's a priest with so much great joy. You know, uh, he's, known, uh, he's known for his humor and his cheerfulness and encouraged faith. You know, and for me... Um, I like to have that, you know, because they say laughter is the best medicine, okay? But also, laughter is a good exercise also, you know, <laughs> on your muscles here on your cheek. Uh, so, so it's good, you know. It, it's just good to have that laughter because people need to see for us Christians that we are joyful. Because joy is one of the fruit of the Holy Spirit. If you're not joyful, look, maybe the Holy Spirit is missing in your life, okay? So let's ask the intercession of uh, St. Philip Neri. There's also a, a wonderful movie about him. Watch it. You know, it, it says there in the movie, uh, when, when he had an encounter with the Lord, he experienced the love of God that his heart, is, it's going to like, it's going to explode. And we all need to have like that. You know, that love from God that our heart is like, it's going to explode. You know, so that it will be able to love others. So let's ask for his intercession during this Mass. So, brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have gravely sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie Let us pray. O God, who never ceased to bestow the glory of holiness on the faithful servants you raise up for yourself, graciously grant that the Holy Spirit may kindle in us that fire with which he wonderfully filled the heart of St. Philip Neri. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul, having traveled throughout Greece, was eager to be in Jerusalem, if possible, on the day of Pentecost. From Miletus he sent a message to Ephesus, asking the elders of the church to meet him. And when the elders came to him, Paul said to them, you yourselves know how I lived among you the entire time from the first day that I set foot in Asia, serving the Lord with all humility and with tears, and during the trials that came to me through the plots of the Jews, I did not shrink from doing anything helpful, proclaiming the message to you and teaching you publicly and from house to house, as I testified to both Jews and Greeks about repentance towards God and faith towards our Lord Jesus. And now, as a captive to the Spirit, I am on my way to Jerusalem, not knowing what will happen to me there, except that the Holy Spirit testifies to me 
in every city that imprisonment and persecutions are waiting for me. But I do not count my life of any value to myself. If only I may finish my course and the ministry that I have received from the Lord Jesus to testify to the good news of God's grace. And now I know that none of you among whom I have gone about proclaiming the kingdom will ever see my face again. Therefore, I declare to you this day that I'm not responsible for the blood of any of you, for I did not shrink from declaring to you the whole purpose of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to this song. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Reign in abundance, O God, you showered abroad. You restored your heritage when it languished. Your flock found a dwelling in it. In your goodness, O God, you provided for the needy. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Blessed be the Lord who daily bears us up. God is our salvation. Our God is a God of salvation. And to God the Lord belongs escape from death. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. The Father will send you the Holy Spirit says the Lord to be with you forever. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son so that the Son may glorify you, since you have given him authority over all people to give eternal life to all whom you have given him. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. I glorified you on earth by finishing the work that you gave me to do. So now, Father, glorify me in your own presence with the glory that I had in your presence before the world existed. I have made your name known to those whom you gave me from the world. They were yours, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you have given me is from you. For the words that you gave to me, I have given to them, and they have received them, and know in truth that I came from you, and they have believed that you sent me. I am asking on their behalf. I am not asking on behalf of the world, but on behalf of those whom you gave me, because they are yours. All mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I have been glorified in them. And now I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one as we are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So we see here, during the, the, the first Pentecost, Paul, the apostle, was not there. 
in the upper room. He was not there with Mary and the 12 apostles. Okay? In fact, he was the reason why Mary and the 12 apostles are in the upper room locked up. Because Paul, during that time he was still Saul, he was persecuting Christians. He was killing Christians. Okay? That's why the, 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 the 12 apostles and, and with Mary, they locked them, themselves up in the upper room. They were full of fear. Okay? So that was the first Pentecost. But Paul had a conversion, right? We know on his, on his way uh, and the road going to Damascus, he encountered Jesus. He encountered Jesus. Jesus told him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Okay? And then uh, God asked Ananias to baptize Paul to, with the Holy Spirit. And he experienced the power of the Holy Spirit. Okay, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, you know, uh, give, gave him wisdom. Even though he did not encounter Jesus, the Holy Spirit that he received, he was able to know who Jesus is, the truth about the faith. And that made Paul fall in love with Jesus. Paul also received the love, the love from Jesus and God the Father through the Holy Spirit. And, the whole, and, and through the Holy Spirit also, Paul received the power to do what he was called to do, which is to proclaim the gospel to the Gentiles. Okay? And, and, and so, he was not part of the first Pentecost that happened. But here in our first sitting today, it says here, he was eager to be in Jerusalem, if possible, on the day of Pentecost. So we see here, during the early times, they're already celebrating this Pentecost that happened on a yearly basis. He was so eager because he already he experienced the taste of having the Holy Spirit in his life. And he wants more. That's why he was so eager to go to Jerusalem to be with the other apostles and the disciples there to receive more of the Holy Spirit in his life. And he knows that he needed the Holy Spirit in order to do what he was called to do. Because it, it, it's not an easy task that the Lord was, is, is asking him to do. Okay, it says here, you know, he set foot in Asia, serving the Lord with all humility and with tears, enduring the trials that came to me through the plots of the Jews. He was experiencing a lot of trials, persecution, but he persevered. He was able to do what God asked him to do, which is to proclaim the message to the, to, the, to the Gentiles. And what's the message? The message of repentance towards God and faith towards our Lord Jesus Christ. And we see here how in the first reading it says he was captive, as captive to the Holy Spirit. It means he was so obedient to the leading of the Holy Spirit. Okay? And, and it says here, I'm on my way to Jerusalem not knowing what will happen to me there, except that the Holy Spirit testifies to me in every city that imprisonment and persecutions are waiting for me. But I do not count my life of any value to myself if only I may finish my course in the ministry that I receive from the Lord Jesus to testify to the good news of God's grace. He needed the Holy Spirit to do the work but he needed to do the work to be obedient to the Holy Spirit so that he will receive more of the Holy Spirit. And that's what we're all called to do also. If we want more of the Holy Spirit, we need to be obedient. We need to be obedient to the Lord so that we will receive more of the Holy Spirit. And as we receive more of the Holy Spirit, we will be able to do what God is asking us to do. We can't do this on our own power. We're powerless. If you want to see fruitfulness in your relationship, in your ministry, in your family, whatever, whatever you're doing, follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. And you will see how it will bear fruit. It will give life. That's what the Spirit gives. It gives life. We receive the power of the Holy Spirit, the same power that raised Jesus from the dead. That's the same power of the Holy Spirit that we receive in Pentecost, in our baptism, in our confirmation. 
and we could ask for more. You know, that's one addiction that is good. We need to be addicted to the power of the Holy Spirit. And we need to ask for more. And there is more. That's why I hope, you know, during this time that we're, we're preparing for Pentecost this, 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 uh, this Sunday, I really encourage you to join. To join, to jo- join us here at St. Mary's to do the novena to the Holy Spirit. Okay, you, you, you could go to the St. Mary's Ottawa YouTube channel and follow. Join us. We need to prepare ourselves. We need more of the Holy Spirit to be able to do what God is asking us to do. Because on our own, we're powerless. But in the Holy Spirit, we have that power. Christ our Lord predicted his saving death and resurrection through him, the suffering servant. Let us bring our petitions to the Father of all mercies. That the leaders of the church may show us a clear vision of patient endurance in the turmoil of our time, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the nations may know the only true God and Jesus Christ whom he has sent, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may work and pray for the unity of all who who bear the name of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may unite their sufferings with those of Jesus on the cross, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have gone before us in this life may receive the eternal reward promised to them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intentions of this Mass, For the repose of the soul of Mark Lopat, Lopato, the son of Tanya Padel, Padelario, offered by Paulette Petre. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, you glorified your son, and in him we will be glorified. Welcome our prayers, because we belong to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, I come, I confess, bowing here, I find my rest. Without you, I fall apart. You're the one that guides my heart. Lord, I need you, oh, I need you, every hour I need you, my one defense, my righteousness, oh God, how I need you. Where sin runs deep, your grace is more. Where grace is found is where you are. And where you are, Lord, I am free. Holiness is Christ in me. And where you are, Lord, I am free. Holiness is Christ in me. Lord, I need you. Oh, I need you. Every hour I need you. My one defense, my righteousness, oh God, how I need you. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we offer you the sacrifice of praise, O Lord, 
we ask that by the example of St. Philip, we may always give ourselves cheerfully for the glory of your name and the service of our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to the highest heavens as the angels gaze in wonder, mediator between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of hosts. He ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was sent, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Terence and Marcel, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we are married to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but at the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, Qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Lord, I need you. Oh, I need you. Every hour I need you. My one defense, my righteousness, Oh God, how I need you. So teach my song to rise to you. When temptation comes my way. And when I cannot stand, I'll fall on you. Jesus, you're my hope and stay. And when I cannot stand, I'll fall on you. Jesus, you're my hope and stay. Lord, I need you. Oh, I need you. Every hour I need you, my one defense, my righteousness, oh God, how I need you. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that in imitation of St. Philip, we may always long for that food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. Amen. I uh, also f forgot to welcome 
uh, those who are watching our daily mass through Shalom World TV, because today is the the first day we're in uh, Shalom World TV is uh, televising the daily mass of uh, St. Mary's in their uh, internet, in their website. And I think the, the, uh, it's on Tuesday and Thursday, the same time, from 9 to, to like 9.30. Okay, that's where. So um, I would like to introduce myself. I'm Father Ken Lau, and I'm the uh, associate pastor here at St. Mary's. Uh, I would like to welcome uh, everyone viewing through Shalom in behalf of Father Mark Goring, who's the pastor. He's just away uh, with some family matters, uh, but he will be back soon, uh, maybe this week. Um, beside me is uh, um, Deacon Marcus, uh, companion. So we belong to this uh, Companions uh, of the Cross community uh, based here in Ottawa. And St. Mary's is the mother church of the Companions of the Cross. So Deacon Marcus is going to be ordained uh, to the priesthood this August 15th. So please include him in your prayer. Okay. Uh, we're, as I've said in my homily, we're doing a uh, novena to the Holy Spirit from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, Eastern Daylight Time here in uh, Canada. Uh, you could join us there in preparation for Pentecost Sunday, and we're going to have a Pentecost vigil. Uh, we're in. Uh, we invited the General Superior of the Companions of the Cross, Father Roger Vandernacker, to give a talk. And the theme of his talk is, Why do we need the fire of the new Pentecost today? And he's an excellent preacher, so I encourage you to come and join us next Saturday, uh, this coming Saturday, May uh, 30, uh, from 7 to 9 p.m., also here at uh, uh, St. Mary's Ottawa YouTube channel. Okay? Blessings upon all of you. And... Uh, did we say the St. Michael? No. No. Okay. We'll now say the, the, the St. Michael prayer. Or the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. Praise to the Lord, O oh, let all that is in us adore Him. All that has life and breath come now with praises before Him. Let the Amen sound from His people again. Now as we worship before him. <laughs> 